State officials dive today into the details of Vermont's plan to reopen schools and also the mental health impact of needing to turn to remote learning for this long. Local 22's Devin Bates joins us live in the newsroom now to break it all down for us. Devin? Yeah, Mike, believe it or not, it's been almost a year since Governor Scott made the decision to shut down in-person learning due to the pandemic. Now today, 30% of schools are in-person, half are hybrid, and 20% are still fully remote. Now amid widespread calls for teachers to get vaccinated as soon as possible, Governor Scott said this can't continue much longer. Our kids are not okay. And I know that's not acceptable to any of us. Many kids are really struggling. Some seriously enough to end up in our emergency departments. Extended isolation has contributed to a rise in students' anxiety, stress, sleeplessness, and substance misuse. A recent Vermont Department of Mental Health study details what that looks like on the ground for local pediatricians. Quote, in September, we had no wait list. Now we have 70 plus on the wait list. 75 to 80 percent of what I see every day is mental health related for the last six to nine months. A year to us adults is very different than a year to someone who is 12, 14 or 16. This is a year they will not get back. And it's a year that should be full of milestones. Time hanging out with friends, developing new hobbies and interests. Governor Scott has set a goal of getting every student back in the classroom by the end of this school year. On Friday, Education Secretary Dan French broke down how that goal will be reached. The first phase being the assessment of school district conditions in three focus areas. And then the process will shift to planning and then to implementation. All of these phases, including the assessment phase, require more in-person contact with students. So while the recovery planning process unfolds, we'll be encouraging districts to implement more in-person instruction. Vermont educators have signaled that's going to be a tall order without the promise of getting vaccinated beforehand. The state recently sent out a survey to school staff and child care providers to get a better idea of how many doses will be needed to get them vaccinated in phase six. I understand the worries and the challenges that come along with it. I know there are logistical obstacles that make it harder than it may sound. And if we, but if we can agree on the goal, we can be creative and work through those details. Now that survey to educators is open until Monday. Secretary French said the promise of additional supply thanks to the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which actually within the last hour just got greenlit by FDA advisors, should help meet the demand after people with high-risk conditions get their shots. Live in the newsroom tonight, Devin Bates, Local 22 News.